Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the DailySheeple.com, and this is your special edition news shot. And this, uh, first of all, uh, condolences to all those affected by the attacks uh, late last night, early this morning uh, in London. Obviously, there's more to this than meets the eye, but let's just make it simple and call it blowback for the intervention that's gone on and displaced millions of of people from the Middle East region and Africa and they're looking for places to go. You've got people that are sympathetic to their cause because they've got family in that area that's been displaced. And let me tell you something, when you're a refugee over in that area, you want to talk about miserable. It is the absolute apex of misery to be a refugee living in a makeshift tent in a desert where you don't have access to clean water, where hygiene is not even existent. And, you know, yet we complain so many, it's, it just makes me sick. It really does. A lot of people say, well, they have it coming to them. No, they don't. No, they don't. This comes on the heels of well over 100, if not 200 years of imperialism started by the British Empire and then continued by the American government, in their crusade against terrorism. The boogeyman with no face and no borders. It's absolutely deplorable. However, I have to tell you that the Prophet Muhammad had a very different stance on Christians and Christianities and how, uh, Christianity and how to treat them. And this is very pivotal to understand especially everybody out there, all the, the militant Muslims out there that, that feel like Christianity is the enemy. It's not, okay? Christianity's not the enemy here. The enemy are the control freaks, the ones that have invaded your lands and taken your uh, natural resources and raped and pillaged your people in the name of, oh, we're freedom and democracy. We're going to try to instill our values on you. I was complicit. For six years, I did that kind of stuff. Did three tours. It was horrible. You know, looking back on it now, I wouldn't support that today, knowing what, what we were doing. It's crazy. Anyway, the Prophet Muhammad in 628 AD, he wrote a letter. And at this time, it was a letter that he sent to Christian monks at St. Catharines at Mount Sinai in Egypt. And it's a very important letter. And it's a letter that I hope anybody that sits on the fence about whether or not to be militant towards innocent people, not towards the people that actually perpetrated these crimes against you, but innocence. And this is what Muhammad had to say. He said, this is a message from Muhammad Sof of Abdullah as a covenant to those who adopt Christianity near and far, we are with them. Remember that Muhammad, the prophet, understood that people, Muslims, Christians, Jews, we all came from the same bloodline. We all descend from Abraham and Sarah. Well, Abraham. The difference is we have a father, but the two different mothers where we split, where Isaac was born to Sarah and then Ishmael was born to their servant. And this is, a, this is where the split occurred between Muslims and the Jews and then later on down the line, Christians after Christ came, came to, the, to planet Earth. And so it's very important to understand this because Muhammad knew at that time we were descended from the same dad. We all had the same dad. We all come from, from Abraham. And he said, verily I, I, the servants, the helpers, and my followers defend them because Christians are my citizens. And by Allah, I hold out against anything that displeases them. No compulsion is to be on them. 
Neither are there judges to be removed from their jobs, nor their monks from their monasteries. No one is to destroy a house of their religion, to damage it, or to carry anything from it to the Muslim houses. Should anyone take any of these, he would spoil God's covenant and disobey his prophet. Verily, they are my allies and have my secure charter against all that they hate. No one is to force them to travel or to oblige them to fight. The Muslims are to fight for them. If a female Christian is married to a Muslim, it is not to take place without her approval. She's not to be prevented from visiting her church to pray. Their churches are to be respected. They are neither to be prevented from repairing them nor their sacredness of their covenants. No one of the nation is to disobey the covenant till the last day, the end of the world. That's from Mohammed himself. So question, all of you militant Muslims out there that feel the need to rent a van, to plow into people, to strap a bomb on yourself, to destroy and kill innocents that have nothing to do with anything that displaced people in your home country, that have anything to do with the raping and pillaging of your natural resources. How do you think that by doing that, you're attaining justice for the wrongs that were perpetrated against you and for your people? Muhammad himself spoke out against this. And the only way that we're going to solve any problems is if we people... Christians, Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, it doesn't matter who you are. If we respect our differences, we respect our different beliefs, if we respect each other and love each other and put that attention and those resources towards bringing the people who perpetrated these awful crimes to justice, nothing's going to change. We have to come together. That's the only way it's going to happen. I know a lot of people, oh, that's pie in the sky thinking. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's really easy. It's as easy as just flipping a switch about turning a light on or off. It's the same thing. It's how we think. It's how we interpret things. And any of you out there that is spiritual, that's Muslim, that's Christian, it doesn't matter. Love each other, respect one another, and understand that no one, no human on this planet has the answers. We, none of us do. None of us know 100% what's truth, what's not. Nothing is black and white, my friends. Just a thousand shades of gray. And the sooner that we come together in peace, the more we'll be able to hold those that have really wronged us for millennia to account. Until then, as long as we keep playing their silly games... And as long as we keep slaughtering each other, it'll never, never get better and things will continue to go on and we will continue to be plagued and haunted by the powers that shouldn't be. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and I'm sure people will. And have a great day. Bye now.